Good morning, everybody. Okay, so um, today I thought actually I would show you, I, I felt like doing a mixed media piece, which is completely different to what I normally do, but that's actually uh, how I'm feeling today. Um, these are a couple of mixed media boards that I've already started, um, and they have lots of texture and, and things on them. It's just a, a piece of hard hard wood that um, has been cut and I've actually glued on this particular one I glued different kinds of paper and things down and then I've sanded it back but there will be another layer before I sand back again and um, I haven't painted any oh yes on this one I have actually I've, I've um, put a bit of white paint on so I have to sand it but you can see that the different script papers and so forth underneath the actual board so um, I found, in, you know, I'm a ceramic artist and an also a silver and porcelain jewellery artist. So um, I found today these beautiful little that I, um, ceramic pieces that I actually made with my scripts. So I, when I designed my scripts, scripting, um, I actually used to use them in, in um, ceramics. So these tiny little pieces were just samples and they've been put through a TP firing, which is a very ancient form of firing. Anyway, in cleaning out, I found out, I found all these um, beautiful pieces with my scripts on them. So I was kind of excited by that. Um, but I also found um, some bronze work that I did I was testing some bronze, different coloured bronzes along the way because this is, as you know, I'm a silver clay jewellery artist too. And um, so I, I teach silver clay, but I was testing the bronze clay. So this is the bronze clay and it's kind of different colourings as you can see. But um, I didn't go any further with that uh, at this point because I, I get a bit... I get a bit all over, get a bit busy with everything that I with everything that I do, but I thought that these com this combination, you know, in colours and everything, would be just brilliant in a uh, mixed media piece. So I just thought I'd show you those. Um, and so what I'm going to do, I found these three little um, frames, pre-bought frames, and I'm going to cover each one of them start with start the start of um, I'm going to cover them with um, different kind of scripts so whether it be um, from a, a book um, you know just a, a, a normal you know an old book piece is one of my ancient pieces or whether I choose to use it from my um, which I will I will actually use some of my um, scripting in here um, pieces also so and I'll just take some of those out for the three and um, that one there maybe that one's actually that one there so anyway what I'm going to do is that is actually what I'm going to do I'm just going to maybe one of those we'll just start with we'll start with those ones all right, um, what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm basically just going to glue down and, and these are going to be um, painted over and sanded and all sorts of things before they, I go any further. So um, I'm just going to do that. So I think I'll just do one um, or maybe not. Maybe I might do the three of them together. But um, I'll, I'll just let the camera roll so you can zoom through you know if you don't need to see me actually doing this because <laughs> you've probably done it before so i've mixed up a pva um and a bit of water blend and the first thing i do is i get my papers out and i have a lot of old old papers just kicking around and i think that i just i just want to rip out a few um, and it doesn't matter if there's colours on them because as I said they're going to be all muted somewhat um, I am going to do the edge though too so I might just start in fact I might just start by getting um, some of my very old 
bits and bobs. Hold on. Where are they? Oh, they're up here. My very, very old papers um, that I have stored. Maybe those little ones, actually. Right. I'm just going to use those, I think, to start off with. And I'll just put a base on. I think that that's what I'm going to do. So all I'm going to do, I think I'm just going to put a base on first. So I'll turn the camera off while I do that. Just of these old, this is a really old book. Um, I'm just going to put a base on, get rid of that red. Okay. All right. So um, I am just making sure that they are pushed down really flat and there's no bubbles underneath and I put enough PVA um, on them for this first layer. Now I use a, a wet one to do this um, just because my finger sometimes you know I don't really want the PVA all over my finger. That after I've, I've um, done this probably the easiest way if you haven't done um if you haven't done this before is to actually not glue down the sides just yet you know um you can leave those until the top is dried and then go back in and and do it over the red gesso yeah now the red gesso also will show through on some of the pieces um on some of the pieces of the paper which is what i want um i want that color underneath um just because it gives that lovely warmth to the piece. Uh, okay, so I have to, I now have the three done. I will just show you uh, those three pieces. Um, they're drying, they'll dry slowly. I'll work on them. Um, I probably will choose just one to work with, even though this is going to be a set of... Um, three for the wall I, I probably will just work on on one on on here and um maybe i don't I, yeah, sometimes i yeah anyway <laughs> uh that's the first step okay so i look forward to seeing you back when yours is dried and we'll continue so um I'm not, yeah, I'm not too sure at this point because they will all come together. But I do like to have a bit of a selection going on, you know. So um, whether it's pieces of linen, whether it's um, paper, like it has to be kind of in the same colour. I mean, obviously you don't have to do scripts. You could be doing using jelly prints or, or whatever. I have decided, though, that the, for the three, I am actually going to use these... Um, three little button kind of brass buttons and one of the ceramic um pieces with my script on it somehow arranged um on here and also i have um this is a jelly print of my actual scripts you know and it's sort of in the same tonings so i may use a small part of that um on here too. Now I don't know whether I'm adding a colour. Um, I do all sari silk. I have a piece of that too in case I wanted to add that and there's a bit of um, reed. Um, so can I, this is not that this is the right colours or anything but I will just show you. It's like um, these ones I've made they're, they're going on another piece so these are three that I've actually done that are actually going on um, three other uh, set a set that I'm working on uh, so I've actually created them and sewn them and and um, they've got a bit of you know dangling uh, create creative porcelain hanging out yeah, and they will go on they will get glued on to the board um, somewhere uh, placed on the board and and other things added so these ones are quite large, so we, yeah, but I just thought I'd show you. This one we're doing is quite small. I mean, this this piece here is even too big, really. It needs to be a little bit smaller, I feel, um, than that. And as I said, I don't know whether I'm getting some um, colour on here yet, um, because I haven't, I haven't, haven't actually kind of gone there. 
along the um, the color road yet. This is handmade paper that I've acrylic. I've actually painted over it with acrylic paint. Um, just yeah, to have black stripes. You know, it's just I love it. I could utilize it sort of anywhere really if I wanted to in a design. So it's a matter of playing with it. So once we get all, once we get um, all of these dried, and I've um, sanded down the edges here, just gently on this. If it was worn wood, I'd probably sand down. We, I sand down with the board along the edges here, just to make them nice and tidy. But I don't set because it's a canvas. I don't actually um, sand down too hard. <laughs> yeah. But that paper will come off and it'll, it just leaves a really nice finish when it's completely dried. Doing it that way. Um, on the board, it's fabulous. Now, I might I might still paint over this um, somewhat. I haven't decided what I'm doing yet. And I will stop talking now because this is going to become too long. Okay, see you soon. All right. Okay. So my it's dry um, on all the sides, and what I'm going to do now is actually take the board, the sandboard. Now I normally do this outside, but since I'm on camera, it um, I just wanted to show how how to do what I do, and it just comes off. And it leaves a really, really nice um, edge to it when it's a yeah, beautiful edge along there. So I just um, I sand it until it gives way, like so. Sometimes it needs to have a thicker sandpaper piece. Other times it doesn't. I'm just going to be careful because this is canvas, not wood. There we go. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful edge. All perfect. Now, I have noticed that there's a little bit that I have that's um, not quite glued down there, so I will. Um, glue that down but um, the next step of this is uh, using a dry brush now this particular acrylic paint is just um, yellow oxide and white paint um, it's kind of cream and I just like to dry brush it around in fact I might just dry brush that down that bit that's just there um, in different areas I am going to sand it again so um, I will sand down some of it so I just dry brush where I I think I want it sometimes on the seams is nice just nice sometimes knocks it back a little bit hey all right Right, that is me. Now I've done two now. I've done this one over here and this one here. See, I seem to be doing because <laughs> oh, I'm doing three. And I'm, and I am playing with um, putting this little black piece of um, handmade paper down. This one, I don't know whether um, this one has a kind of a stripe already down it. Um, I might add just a little bit on that one to sort of blend them in. Uh, but anyway, the next step is, is doing that white and then drying that and um, then I'll be back. I'm just touching up a bit more of the white on there before I dry it for the day. And just layering up a few different areas on the three pieces. I really like how, now this is um, 
Did I tell you what this was? Oh, I can't remember. <laughs> Uh, this is just a paint I've made, but I've actually mixed it with flow medium, um, which sort of thins it down and allows it um, to be quite translucent, uh, not so opaque, because I, I kind of like to see everything underneath it. Um, and if also, you know, you think that there's too much on something or you want to remove just a bit, it's easier probably to do it now, you know, while, while, um, while it's damp. And you do get that lovely, if you gently remove it, you kind of get that real sort of mottled of the paper underneath. But you could also wait um, until it's dry and sand it with a fine sandpaper. That's another look, yeah. So um, I'll be back when this is dry and I'll continue.